If you're a man over 50 and you're ejaculating every day, it's time for a reality check. You might think it's harmless, maybe even healthy. After all, you've heard about those studies claiming regular release lowers prostate cancer risk, right? But here's the catch. Those studies, mostly on younger men, not guys with aging prostates, declining testosterone, and slower recovery systems. Because after 50, your body changes, and what used to feel energizing might now be quietly draining you. So, if you've been brushing this off as just part of being a man, stick around. I'm breaking down exactly what happens to your hormones, your prostate, and your long-term health when ejaculation becomes a daily habit after 50. Let's start with the basics. Ejaculation is a full-body event. It's not just a moment of pleasure. It's a coordinated reaction involving your brain, hormones, nervous system, blood vessels, and yes, your prostate. In your 20s or 30s, your body was built to recover fast. Testosterone bounced back, blood vessels stayed elastic, and your prostate could handle repeated activity without much wear and tear. But after 50, the whole system slows down. Your testosterone levels are naturally declining by about 1% every year, according to most urology studies. That might not sound like much, but by your mid-50s or 60s, your hormone profile looks drastically different than it did at 30, and frequent ejaculation can drain what little testosterone reserve you're holding onto. Each ejaculation triggers a short-term drop in testosterone and dopamine, and while those usually recover within 24, 48 hours, when you're doing it daily, the system never truly resets. You're stuck in a loop where your body's struggling to maintain balance. That's why so many older men report feeling tired, foggy or restless after intercourse or masturbation. It's not in your head. Your nervous system is working overtime. Your prostate is contracting repeatedly and your hormones are fluctuating faster than they can stabilize. And then there's the pelvic floor, the group of muscles that support your bladder, bowels and sexual function. These muscles weaken naturally with age. Add daily contractions and pressure from frequent release. You're speeding up the wear and increasing the chance of leakage, urgency, or even erectile issues down the line. And here's something most men don't realize. Your prostate doesn't love constant stimulation. It's a small gland, about the size of a walnut, that's already prone to inflammation as you age. And daily ejaculation can act like chronic overuse, leading to irritation, swelling, and even pain in some men. This doesn't mean you need to stop completely but it does mean you need to understand what your body is going through. Because the truth is, there's a big difference between a healthy release and a habit that's quietly draining your energy, messing with your hormones, and putting pressure on your prostate. So, what science says about daily ejaculation? There's a lot of confusion out there. One study says, daily ejaculation reduces prostate cancer risk. Another warns about hormone depletion. So, what's actually true? The famous 2016 Harvard study did show that men who ejaculated 21 times per month had a lower risk of prostate cancer. But here's the detail everyone skips. The study focused on men under 50, most with no existing prostate issues. Once you're over 50, the picture shifts. Your testosterone is already lower, your recovery is slower, and your prostate is more sensitive to inflammation. Daily ejaculation, in this context, can increase stress on the gland, especially if you already have BPH, benign prostate enlargement, prostatitis, or pelvic tension. Urologists agree, there's no magic number, but more isn't always better, especially if you're feeling tired, weak, or off after. Even the Mayo Clinic advises older men to consider their overall energy, sleep quality, prostate comfort, and hormone levels before deciding what's healthy. So while moderate release can support prostate drainage and tension relief, daily ejaculation at your age may cross the line from healthy to harmful. Let's be blunt. Ejaculation isn't just a release. It's an output of physical, hormonal, and mental energy. Here's what really happens each time. Your body uses zinc, magnesium, and B vitamins to create semen essential nutrients your brain and muscles also need. You release a spike of dopamine and oxytocin, followed by a crash. That crash often feels like tiredness, brain fog, or lack of drive the next day. And most importantly, your testosterone dips after release. For men over 50, that dip can last longer and hit harder. You might have noticed it already. The day after, your workouts feel weaker. You're not as sharp. You're slower to get motivated. That's not a coincidence, it's recovery debt. And when ejaculation is daily, your body doesn't get time to recharge. Even Eastern medicine warned about this centuries ago. They believed too much sexual release after midlife drains life force. Modern science now agrees. 
The body needs time between releases to restore hormone balance and mental clarity. So if you're wondering why you feel more sluggish, less focused, or less masculine lately, it might not be age alone. It could be that your energy tank is constantly half full, and ejaculation is the silent leak you've been ignoring. Here's where it really matters. After 50, your testosterone naturally declines about 1% per year. But lifestyle habits, including daily ejaculation, can speed that up. Why? Because after ejaculation, the brain temporarily shuts off the hormone that signals your body to produce testosterone. The more frequent the release, the less stimulation your testes get to keep levels up. It's like telling your body, we don't need more testosterone, we're good. But here's the problem. Low testosterone leads to low muscle mass, belly fat, poor sleep, weak erections, anxiety, and even mild depression. Sound familiar? One 2021 study in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that men who masturbated frequently, especially without strong desire, had lower baseline testosterone and more fatigue symptoms than those who pace their activity. Your hormones don't just regulate intercourse. They regulate how you show up in life, how you move, think, feel, and lead. And if you're releasing every day, just for habit, boredom, or stress relief, you could be trading long-term masculinity for short-term pleasure. This isn't about guilt. It's about awareness. Because once you understand what your prostate, testosterone, and body are really telling you, you can start listening, adjusting, and taking back control. Your prostate isn't just along for the ride. It's the main contributor to your semen. Every time you ejaculate, your prostate contracts to push fluid into the urethra, a key part of male fertility. But here's what men over 50 often don't realize. That contraction is a strain. And when it happens every single day, it adds up. Think of your prostate like a muscle. A healthy amount of use keeps it working well. But overuse without recovery leads to inflammation, congestion, and long-term fatigue in the tissue. That's where problems begin. The gland can swell, pressing against your urethra. You may feel increased urgency or frequency when urinating. It might become harder to fully empty your bladder. And worst of all, this irritated state creates the perfect storm for conditions like BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Or worse, it may mask the early signs of prostate cancer. One 2022 study published in Prostate Cancer and Prostatic Diseases found that men with higher ejaculation frequency after age 50 had a higher incidence of chronic prostatitis symptoms, including pain, swelling, and urinary discomfort. These issues don't show up overnight. They build silently. And by the time you notice them, years of wear and tear may already be done. That's why doctors, especially urologists, now encourage older men to see their prostate as an aging organ. It needs care, not constant stress. And that starts with giving it breaks between releases. Let's talk real-life symptoms, the ones most men chalk up to, just getting older, but that are actually warning signs from your prostate and hormones. Here are the red flags. You're waking up more than once at night to pee. That's called nocturia. Your stream is weaker, slower, or hard to start. You feel like you haven't emptied your bladder fully. You feel soreness or pressure between your scrotum and anus, the perineum, especially after ejaculation. You're not feeling refreshed after release. Instead, it leaves you feeling drained or moody. These are not normal. And if you're still ejaculating daily while experiencing these, you're likely making things worse without even knowing it. Even just cutting back to two to three times a week can give your prostate time to reset, your hormones time to stabilize, and your energy a chance to bounce back. Many men who reduce frequency notice better sleep, clearer urination, stronger morning erections, a steadier, calmer mindset. It's not about abstinence, it's about alignment with your age and biology. Your prostate has served you well for decades. Now it's your turn to return the favor. So, what is the ideal frequency of ejaculation for men over 50? There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but research and clinical experience offer some helpful guidelines. Most urologists agree. One to two times per week is a healthy range for most older men. This frequency allows your prostate to recover between contractions. Your testosterone remains balanced. Your pelvic floor to avoid overstrain. And your libido to reset, making each experience more satisfying. In fact, several studies suggest that men who ejaculate moderately into older age tend to have better long-term urinary and sexual health compared to men who either abstain completely or overstimulate. Here's the key. Listen to your body, don't force it. And never confuse daily ejaculation with daily vitality. 
If you want to protect your prostate and keep your hormones strong, here's what top doctors and researchers recommend. 1. Clean up your diet. Cut back on processed meats, sugars, and excess alcohol. Eating more cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and kale helps regulate estrogen and support prostate detoxification. Add foods rich in zinc, like pumpkin seeds and oysters. This mineral plays a key role in testosterone production and prostate fluid. 2. Move daily. Walking. Just 30 minutes a day improves circulation to the pelvic region. Resistance training boosts testosterone naturally. Even light exercise reduces inflammation, a major trigger in prostate enlargement. 3. Sleep and stress. Chronic stress elevates cortisol, which suppresses testosterone and worsens BPH symptoms. Aim for 7-8 hours of restorative sleep. Consider mindfulness, deep breathing, or light yoga, not just for your mind, but your hormones too. 4. Take key supplements with doctor approval. So Palmetto helps reduce prostate swelling. Pygium. Used in Europe for managing BPH, vitamin D. Low levels are linked with prostate issues and poor testosterone health. It's not about gimmicks. It's about supporting your aging body with science-backed habits. Your prostate doesn't come with an alarm system. It sends quiet signals you just have to pay attention. Daily ejaculation may feel harmless, even beneficial. But over time, it can wear down your gland, your hormones, and your energy. And if you want more urologist-backed tips for men over 50, hit subscribe now. Because this isn't about fear, it's about awareness. And the choices you make today could save your health tomorrow.